Last week, protesters gave Mayor Duggan a list of 23 demands. Included on that list, ditching Project Greenlight, which is separate. It's a series of live action cameras attached to businesses all around the city, which allows Detroit police to monitor crime. It's something they have said has been a crime deterrent, but protesters want these gone too, as they can utilize facial recognition software. Monday, Detroit protesters drove by the homes of city council members who previously voted for the use of facial recognition technology. It's one of the things protesters say needs to go from Detroit police. And so what we're saying is instead of buying Stingray technology, we're spending millions of dollars on facial recognition, right? Like put that money towards like schools or public housing. DPD has defended its use of facial recognition, saying it's not used as a sole identifier. But its critics point to evidence that it's not always accurate, especially when surveying people of color. The city paid around $1 million for the software in 2017. A vote to extend the contract has been taken off today's city council agenda. It's unclear why it was removed. A protest organizer, Tristan Taylor, taking to Facebook following the caravan protest to say city council is feeling the pressure. He also encourages people to join the city council's Zoom meeting and make their voices heard. That city council meeting is slated for this morning at 10 o'clock. We, of course, will be following this closely and seeing what city leaders have to say about this software at this point. Again, this is something Detroit police have defended in the past, and it sparked controversy for several years. We'll be following this throughout the day. Reporting live in Detroit this morning, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.